already on weight just after that little you know workout right there and I'm excited I feel good I can't wait for Thursday Oh man, I'm just looking for a performance, man. The fans will be the winners at the end of the night. Me and Pedraza is two hell of a fighters, man. And I'm always coming to, to dominate, you know what I'm saying? So just expect an amazing performance by me, by the businessman. You know, seeing the fact that hey, we need one, two, three, four times. Are you trying to match or maybe break that hook record that you did in Vegas? <laughs> This man, I'm trying to this. stop this Petraza, if you want me to be real, man. He didn't only been stopped one time by another Davis. So, you know, he's, he's fighting, you know, a newer generation Davis. So, I'm just trying to keep that streak going. Big Petraza. week in Las Vegas, Keyshawn, Super Bowl week, obviously. Would you say you're kicking things off Friday, uh, <laughs> Thursday night? For sure, man. You can say that, man. I'm definitely, I feel like I'm kicking things off, man. I'm a, a fun fighter, man. I always bring fun fights to boxing. I feel like I'm good for boxing. And also Pedraza, man. He also brought a lot of fun fights to boxing. And he's doing it again. But you know he's fighting a, a young killer this time. So, man, just expect an amazing performance by the businessman. Got to see some of the footage Top Rank has put out. It was phenomenal, uh, by the way. Uh, looks like your mom may have been right from, from, from what we were seeing. Um, tell us how you feel now physically and mentally now that you know you've changed things up within your life god is good god is good all the time all the time god is good and since i made that change and believing in him i've been a way better person y'all can just see it in my in my energy my character man first time in a long time i haven't really been like nervous or worried about a fight i'm just ready to fight because i already know what's going to happen But all these people here to just with good energy, you know what I'm saying? They just want to see us perform, and I just feed off y'all energy, you know what I'm saying? And it just it just make me even more happy. Like, man, let's go, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go, yeah. Okay, I mean, the Steelers ain't go, man. So I don't even care, bro. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't care. Steelers ain't ghosts. I'm a Steelers fan. Troy Palo Palo fan. So forget the Super Bowl. I'm going to watch, though. Before him for Draza, let us know that the difference between you and him was going to be his experience over you on fight night. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I mean, truth be told, I heard that like a lot of times while I was pro. And I mean, it's just the same difference. Like, he's just another fighter, another opponent coming to win. And I love fights like that. Like, I really love to fight. Like, Let's fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, finally, I feel like I get a real fighter. I can really fight. He's really going to test me. Whatever game plan he got, it's going to put me to the test. And I feel like I'm going to just rise to the occasion. Because every time somebody challenges me, I rise to that occasion. And this is going to be the fight where I'm really going to have to. And y'all going to show, y'all going to see how great I am, for sure. Are you feeling challenged by Pedraza yet? No, nah, I ain't even see him. I see the back of his bald head, but I ain't really get to see his face. But... Hey, I know what he's coming with. He can fight. He can fight going forward, fight going backwards. He got a little awkward style. 
not somebody never seen before, but on this pro level, it is something different going 10 rounds rather than three, traveling internationally. So I just can't wait for this fight and what he's going to bring because it's going to be a tough one for him. So with you being on the stable, uh, you know, the trainer of the year, Bomac, do you feel that you want to try to help him repeat that and get it two times? <laughs> uh, I mean, Bomac, great without the title. We don't need no title for no, we great. You know what I'm saying? That's why Terrence Crawford carried that chip on his shoulder. Still, we don't, he don't need all the fans to tell him he's great for us to know that we great. I know I'm great. I know I'm the best at 135. I don't need you, 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 you to agree with me. I know I'm the best. Y'all gonna see February 8th how great I am. Bro, <laughs> 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 just think about it. If I, when I, or if I whoop Pajaza ass from round one to round 10, it's gonna be like, damn, this boy just did that the whole fight. Nobody did Pajaza like that. Or if I knock him out. So either way, the fans gonna be the winners at the end of the day. Would you say this is your coming out party? I know that I had a lot of professional fights, but it seems like this fight specifically, bandwagoners, they start coming. Do you feel this is the fight that they're gonna really come in? Yeah, man, I feel like this is definitely my breakout, my breakout fight. Um, that's gonna put me on the top, top notch level. Um, unfortunately, Shakur, you know, he retired, and I, I'm, I'm believing he's definitely shedding all that. So, top rank only have one other 35 to to really push and promote and become that next world champion superstar. So, um, it's unfortunate for Shakur, but man, I'm the next in line, and I'm pretty sure top rank is gonna do a fantastic job, keep promoting me how they're promoting me, and put me at that that superstar status. But it's up to me to perform in the ring. So after I perform in the ring, for sure, I'm going to be definitely one of the elites at the 135. After this fight, I'm going to calling out one fighter, Jimmy Nagarate, after this fight. We focus on Thursday, February 8th, but I'm going to win that fight. God already set that in stone. Jimmy Nagarate, after this fight. But he, just wanted your thoughts on the main event. Obviously, a big fight, a title fight at 140 pounds. Tiafimo Lopez, Jermaine Ortiz. Just want your thoughts on the fight. That's a very, very interesting fight, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's very interesting. Tio is a great boxer, great, great puncher. So uh, I'm gonna lean, I'm leaning towards Tio, but I'm not like counting uh, Jermaine Ortiz out at all, at all. I'm not counting him out. So it's definitely gonna be a good fight. I'm just leaning a little towards Tio. He got the more experience. He, he, he just got the more experience. That's all I'm gonna go with. So a little more Tio, but it's gonna be a hell of a fight. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, help us get to that million subscribers, we're on the road to a million, and obviously we have other great content on our Patreon channel, so since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content, or right here on our YouTube members.